Hey everybody, what's up? It's Coach Jim at Make Money Coaching Sports. Uh, today's video is going to be very simple. It's about the guy who has the most perfect plans and ideas, or girl, versus the guy or girl um, who takes action, okay? And a lot of it is going to resonate with not only myself and a lot of the other coaches here at Make Money Coaching Sports, but those of you who are listening, okay? So who is the idea guy or girl? Uh, they are the ones who, they're very great at logistics, okay? They're going to make sure they know 100% where the one or two fields or tracks they're going to uh, do their lessons out of, um, the exact cost, uh, where to find their players, uh, logo design, websites, uh, social media pages, okay? That was me in the very beginning before I left uh, the fitness industry at Gold's Gym, okay? So you have... Those first actions, putting pen to paper, which is awesome. Uh, I'm all about the planning side. Uh, but the problem is these are often people who they overanalyze or try to overplan every single detail because it needs to be perfect. But a lot of that perfection, uh, while it has strengths, it's also masking the fear of failure. Um, it's also preventing them from committing to actually make this thing take off versus the action guy or girl. They are the ones who, yeah, they know, give or take, where they're going to find some players. You know, they might know some sports teams, uh, the local high schools. They know some coaches. They know, give or take, where they're going to train. They know the prices. But instead of trying to deal too much with the perfect logo, the perfect website, uh, by the way, there is no such thing the perfect social media pages, the most perfect content, which definitely takes a lot of time, they um, they have enough. They're content with enough, and they go out and take action. They go out, they start um, shaking hands, sending business cards to uh, club coaches, uh, middle school and high school coaches, uh, talking to friends who have kids that play. Uh, they simply start from the pen and paper and they uh, move forward, okay? Uh, imperfect action is better than perfect planning that doesn't do anything, okay? And obviously, as you see, this all lies on a continuum because you don't want to go in without any idea on what to do and how to do it, but you don't want to have the most perfect uh, plan on paper and you're still sitting back six months, six years later without any action or clue on how to do it. There's a saying where... Uh, a lot of y'all, you got certifications and training, you got uh, degrees, uh, no matter what the degree is, you know that that is all entry level. That's the pen and paper entry level. It's the years of actually putting your foot in the door and keep on putting one foot in front of the other, taking action that builds off more knowledge and experience, okay? That's where you get the wisdom from, okay? So you got to uh, decide, are you the idea person or the action person, because the action person has ideas and they take action. Ideas, they don't take action, okay? So you really have to put one foot in front of the other and understand that you don't need to overanalyze your planning. You don't want to do that. You're actually going to end up scaring yourself thinking too much, not just about the pros. You know the pros is going to be awesome, okay? You're going to train kids, make a living. Your friends don't get to do this, but you do. But then you're going to start thinking about the cons because you see all these businesses fail because they had uh, poor planning skills. They had poor scaling skills. Okay, They had poor marketing. You are different. You have to take the action, but you have enough. Let's say you're, you're not trying to be valedictorian on the planning. You're just trying to be a simple 3.0 student. And then you're going to add as you go because you know long term you're in it, but you have to start. Okay? Okay. Um, I had a bunch of planning behind me and I said, I'm going to start in January 2016. I got fired from Gold's Gym, which is my main income, and I had to make a decision. Either I go in on my planning right now after that Labor Day weekend, September 2015, four or five months before I had more savings, or I'm never going to do it. I'm going to go find another job to support, give me some money. And then I'm going to st uh, either not start at all in January or I'm not going to go full steam. That taught me, that adversity taught me just to go full steam and pick up things as you go and trust everything along the way, okay? Learn as I go. I see a lot of people on Facebook pages that are 
uh, new to strength conditioning, they want to go to high schools, colleges, maybe private performance. Uh, they haven't quite sure seen how to go on the business side. Uh, there's people who want to do fitness, nutrition, coaching. They ask all these questions nonstop, but they never take action. I respect the ones more who ask the questions nonstop, who are struggling, but they're trying to put action into place, okay? They're trying to do everything. And if this is you and you have been taking action already, but you need to know the right kind of action, not only how to get going, but how to get the greatest amount of momentum, and then, okay, phase one is done. What is phase two? Then you need to hit us up for our accelerator program where we have hundreds of other coaches just like you in several countries that have started out the same, and now they're all progressing to six figures, multiple six figures, very sustainable businesses. Uh, they're starting to get into uh, facilities, whether they rent from facilities or they start opening up their own uh, they get in with club teams to be that in-house person, okay? If that is your dream and you have everything already on paper and you want to be the action taker, your first action is texting us, and I'll give you my number right now, 210-414-3077. Let's get on a call. Let's get you in the program so that your actions can help build your future and build your happiness and financial prosperity, Okay. So that's all I got for today. It was really short and sweet compared to all my other videos. Check this out again. We got more coming up to help you put uh, your actions into place and build that business that you dream of, right?